So for my installation, much like the solar panels on my roof, I'm gonna walk you around my garden here, my wife's beautiful garden. And you can see I get full sun here. So as part of the installation, um, EcoFlow has sent me 200 watt rigid panels. And my plan is to push her tomato plants aside a little bit and to build a platform here, move these plants and mount the two solar panels here so they get full sun most of the day. So I'll, I'll take pictures in between my process as I build a platform here. This is one of 200 watt uh, solar panels that EcoFlow um, sent for me to use with the Delta Max 2 power station. Um, the one that comes with it is portable and I want to make a permanent installation. So they were gracious enough to send it. This is a Renology, this is one of two boxes I bought that are solar panel supports for me to mount the panels. So I just brought one outside, it's pretty hot out here. But I brought one outside and I'm gonna open it up, take some pictures, uh, take some measurements, and you know, give it a shot at building that base. So in opening this box, it says 100 watt, but it, what I can tell from the back of the panels, and I'll confirm this later on, each of these panels is 100 watts, which makes 200 watts, and I have two of those boxes. But I need to, you know, there's a plane flying above, so ignore that, but I need to find out for sure, uh, you know, before I connect them. Right now, it's just about mounting them. Um, you can see on the back here, this is what each one looks like. And it has the holes for the for the supports. I'm gonna do all of that, and we're gonna deal with connectivity later. I will put the other one, flip it around so that these wires are are close to the other one. Let me see if I can reach over here. I will flip them around so that these wires are on this end. They're close to each other, so that connectivity becomes easy. And then I have to figure out. I probably have to buy a cable to go from the panels over here where in this right now I just have it stored in here is where the Delta Max 2 is so let me get to work so here we are a few hours later base is built built onto a frame that I already had in my planter box frame just give you a show underneath of what you can see this is part of a planter garden all right we come over here, pounds are all bolted down, all, uh, all installed. I now just have to connect the cables and run a cable from here along the inside, figure a conduit to hop over to the gazebo and plug into the inverter underneath the gazebo where everything in the gazebo, including the chandelier, projector screen, projector um, outlets, everything will run off of the inverter. Eventually, I will use the other two panels that I got, um, install them as well. And over that, that empty corner where you see the wheelbarrow, there'll be a greenhouse. And I will power the greenhouse. And I found this system that I'll talk about when I do that to control the air in and out of the greenhouse to keep the temperature controlled. I hope it works. So for right now, until the next step when I get the cable and show you that part, here they are, the 200 watt panels installed. This gets sun all day. I could have I could have put it flat actually, but I put a little angle because obviously I want um, any kind of snow to run off, right? I don't know if this angle is steep enough, but these, as you know, are very adjustable. So if I find that I need to raise it more, that's a simple job. EcoFlow 100 watt panels, two of them. It's a hot summer day here. I want to showcase my use of my Delta 2 Max. I have reviewed the Delta 2 before, and I'll tell you the bigger picture as we go along this video. I'll try not to make it too long. So this is my backyard garden, and I'm gonna step out here to show you. This is a gazebo. In the gazebo, there's a chandelier, not sure if you can see it clearly. There's a movie projector screen, electric, that comes down. 
There's speakers. There's a box I built up there for it houses an amp and a preamp. There's electrical outlets here that the screens and stuff plug into. Light switch. And this is only for this summer, right? These are marine grade wires you're seeing here, just in case you want to comment. Um, as time goes by, I'm going to run conduit and put them all in. But I did buy outdoor marine grade wires so I could do this temporarily to get use of it this summer. There's a male in, uh, outlet there that can plug into the Delta 2 Max. Plug in there. It lights up this whole... It powers up everything here you see. Now over here, right now that I have, I have you know, this plugged into the Delta Max, I've got for this purpose, sorry if I'm moving so fast, I've got the fountain running. And I ran, I just, the Delta Max 2 Max was completely um, charged. So I ran this for a little while, just to run down the charge a bit, to show you, you know, less to, for us to see together if it works. So I'm gonna go back here and show you. Now there's four panels to be installed. For the interest of getting the review done, and because I have to do a lot more work to get the other two in that I'm working on, I installed the first two panels, connected the, oh, I've got to lift that off the ground, connected the um, MC4 cable to the two panels. Right here where I'm standing, there are going to be two more for a total of four that EcoFlow sent. Now you remember with the Delta 2 Max comes. Uh, portable panels one that folds up and has handles and i will use that if i'm taking the delta 2 max or even my delta 2 on the road when i go to the beach or whatever or for a long out whatever camping whatever but for this i asked them to send these to me and ecoflow graciously did because this is a permanent installation i'm going to give you a quick understanding of why these wires are the negative and positive mc4 wires they're here temporarily for this review there's going to be a hard metal conduit that they're going to run in and i want that because they're going to be permanent i'm going to deviate for a second and show you they're going to run along the planter beds the, the conduit run all along there with the cables in it i'm going to go into my garden the other part of the garden and it's going to come across conduit's going to come all the way to the end here going to cross underneath the ground, going to come up here. Now, on the other side of this wall is my office, and I'm going to put a, a two-inch wide PVC pipe through a conduit with a weather-sealed electrical box on the outside and the inside. When I say electrical box, I'm talking about the weather-sealed box, not a panel, but just a box. And the wires will come up, go into the box, go into the house, and the Delta II will be in the house for... You know, once once we're done with the gazebo for the summer, that's the permanent installation because in behind here, in this room that you're seeing here is my part of my home office studio where I do my podcast and everything else. And the entire studio, which actually runs cameras, but not all the time. The things I run all the time are uh, network switches, modem, router. Um, I do have a wine cooler fridge. But my plan is to run the entire office 24-7 off of solar, completely off the grid. And I'm still searching for a way to use both the Delta 2 and the Delta 2 Max back and forth charged by those panels that you saw back there. The intent right now is to have them you know, eventually buy a switch and on each um, MC4 uh line and the switch will allow me to switch between the delta 2 and the delta 2 max to keep them both charged but anyway getting back to the matter at hand so i've come in temporarily with those cables here they've connected to the xt60i and here's the other end now i'm doing this for the first time i've never done this before in my life so when i connect this if i'm correct when I go to the other side of this, which is the display, right? It should at some point show charging. It's at 98% because I just turned it on. It was at 100. But if it's at 2%, I'm assuming we should see it charging. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Let me try this. There's two connectors here. I'm assuming I can go into either one. I'm not reading the instructions. I connect. So let's see what happens here now.
it flipped for a moment there. Uh, we're gonna wait a while. Now it looked like the power went off. Maybe, no it didn't, it's still on. Um, I'm assuming it can charge while it's uh, running. It says zero input. So let me see what's going on and I'll continue the video. So I'm trying to uh, see, you can see it blinking slowly. So what happens is as I put a, there you go, the input is, is it is getting um, power. It is charging. Um, it has to do with the load, I believe. Once I started using, um, plugging in other things to it and using more power from the Delta II Max, I saw the input start to come on as you can see in the corner there. Um, I'm trying to tell from the app exactly what kind of charge is getting and I'll look in a second, but I need to do something more to drain more power from it because it's almost, it's at, you know, it's at 98%, right? So let me plug a few other things in and let's see what happens. There we go. You see it, the input is spinning all the time there. What I did was I connected a fan and once it started pulling enough power, the input is running, as you see there, if you go closer, you see the input spinning in the corner, so it is charging. Um, I'll see from the app if I can see some measurements. If I can, I will post them, but basically it looks like a success, and this will end up in my office and take me completely off the grid. I'm still searching for something like a solar switch, which I don't know exists. Someone said it did on the EcoFlow Facebook page. To be able to use the Delta 2 Max, this and the Delta 2, and somehow have them connected to the same panels where they sort of load balance, you know, where one gets 100 and then it clicks to the other one. Otherwise, I found manual switches that can do that. But this is the Delta 2 Max running the entire gazebo. And you can see the fan is on. You can see way over there the fountain is on. And I'm gonna start jamming some music in a bit. Delta 2 Max doing exactly what I needed to do in the summer running my outdoors off-grid and soon to be running my entire office slash studio off-grid as well. Okay, so I got the to record today with the sun out, as you can see right here. Let me get this right. There you go, sorry about that. You see the 61, see it moving, you see the thing spinning. It is charging off of solar right now. Okay, we'll see how long it takes to get to 100. Obviously, I won't keep you here, but there is the connections. There's several things plugged in and running, and the solar is plugged in, as you can see. And that's only two panels. I'll be adding another two panels, but right here we have this cooler that's plugged in. I have the entire gazebo that's plugged in. I have the water fountain over there that's plugged in. Uh, stereo preamp and amp up there that's plugged in. I just have the music low because you won't hear me. And everything is running off of this. And as you can see, it is charging. Complete success with only two panels with two to go.